this is pre-calculus topic nine and we are working on the practice assessment taking a look at uh, this we're supposed to sketch a graph labeled the center vertices and foci great so let's read this this is cosine and sine so it's going to be an ellipse there's my center right there so i have a center right here at uh, 13 negative 5 and i know that i'm going 8 in the x direction and 3 in the y direction so I'm going to go up and down three from there. So I'm just going to estimate about where three would be. And so if I go up three, my X doesn't change, but my negative five would have a three added to it. So that would give me a negative two. And if I go down three from here, be negative five minus three. So negative eight. And then I'm going to go eight in this direction. So that's three, three, six, seven, eight. I'm just trying to get it reasonably close. And again, that's an offset of eight. And uh, on, the, on that major axis, I like to write the points outside because I'm going to have to label the foci on the inside as well. So if I add 8 to 13, that's uh, 21. The height hasn't changed, so it's still at negative 5. And if I go back um, 8 from 13, that'd be 13 minus 8, it's 5. Still has a height of negative 5. So then I can try and draw my ellipse, something that is elliptish. elliptish. Uh, so the center and the vertices are, are labeled. So let me do the foci now. I need to know that C value. So in an ellipse, C is uh, A squared minus B squared, opposite of the, the adding that closes it up. So C squared would be A is the larger one, 64 minus 9. Uh, 64 minus 9, what's that? That's 55. So C is the square root of 55. Which is less than which is less than eight, which puts it inside. So I'm going to uh, just put my foci in here somewhere. I'm going to say that's about root 55. And uh, as I label it, I know that it's a change in x. So I have 13 plus root 55, still at negative five, and I have 13 minus root 55, still a height of negative five. And there's my sketch for that.